before I want to do this unboxing of the video game that I picked up though, uh, before before that, at Target, I managed to pick up the uh, NECA Gargoyles, the Elisa Mazda, the ultimate action figure. Now I finally managed to complete her in the collection. I'm very happy that I managed to complete all the uh, Gargoyles figures though, so I'm very happy with the with the completion I managed to do though. So yeah, um, you know, you know, I finally completed her though. Now the the thing about this figure though, it comes with the included Brooklyn closed wings though, so I am. I am looking forward to display Brooke with his wings though since you know I you know I finally managed to complete all the gargoyles figures all I need is more of the closed wings of the of the each characters that we're gonna get pretty soon though so I hope I get that though so I'm very happy that I managed to complete the Elisa Mazda though so I managed to complete all the gargoyles teams especially the clans though and some of the antagonists as well though so I'm very happy with that now on to the unboxing now though right now uh i have a i have something that i picked up though uh at gamestop i managed to get the uh the persona 5 persona 3 reload the uh the collector's edition or as i like to call the igus edition though so i finally managed to get this one right here i did got this at gamestop though finally though so uh you know here's what it looks like in the front in the back and just so you know when i play persona 3 in the FES in the PS2 version and the original one this is like hands down one of my favorite not just my favorite game but my personal favorite storylines out of all because Persona 3 had the best stores while Persona 4 had the best um, gameplay while uh, Persona 5 actually had like one of the more stylish you know so yeah and it comes with the art book not the uh not the hard hard case art book that comes with the igus figure the uh soundtrack which is definitely needed and the persona 3 reload dlc voucher pack for a bonus pack though so i finally managed to get this there's also a japanese version that actually comes with the with the arm strap uh but the difference is i might get the japanese version later on but i finally managed to pick up this one though so i'm gonna crack it open to see what's inside here now when i first I did pre-order this, but my biggest negative part when I tried to pick this up at that time, um, at that time though, since my my big my biggest problem with GameStop for a little bit though, since when I asked the employee, like I showed them my receipt that I could pick up my uh, my collector's edition, they said they only gave me a physical copy, but I told, but I should my also my biggest mistake is like I should have asked if if the man if there's a manager though so good thing that my stuff is still there i had to wait for a bit just to make sure my product is still there but i'm finally but i'm very happy that i managed to pick this up though like i said this is actually one of my personal favorite story lines though so yeah it, a bit, a, it's just it should have been better though so when i mentioned about game something i know i've been rambling around a lot since i'm trying to enjoy this game though so i'm gonna open it up like this on the sleeve though and here is I guess um, she's actually a love interest to uh, to the protagonist Makoto. She's also the protagonist in in Festival though. So here's her. Here's Persona Three. Here's the back of it and what it looks like. And here's another one right here though. So it looks really impressive though. So you know, uh, the only downside with this collector's edition, as much as I'm I appreciate the um, some of the stuff we got though. Um, the the only downside with this, I wish it comes with a with a steel book, but that's okay though, since I finally have it and I really want to play this game for a long time though. So oops. Oops. And here's the DLC pack around here, which I'm gonna hope I didn't show it off too much though. So yeah. So here's the physical game itself though, and uh I'm gonna open it up. And just so you know, in this game, there's a lot of remixed, uh, remixed soundtrack though. So be sure. I do prefer the original soundtrack though, but you know, I do think the remix soundtrack is going to be pretty interesting though. And you can tell like Lotus Juice is still there. So here's the uh, BGM. Huh. Okay. Cool. So here's the, here's the physical game here with a uh, Makoto or Minato as, as like some other. Here's some of the DLC pack around here, which I'm trying not to show, but I accidentally slipped it though. 
And here's the physical soundtrack though. Right here, here's Makoto Yuki. So, you know, I'm glad Atlas did give us the physical soundtrack, which is definitely needed for the most part though, since, you know, I, I do bought a lot of Japanese version of Persona games though, just because I want, I want to get the uh, genuine final product though, so. You know, I want to get more content out of it because as you guys can see my YouTube videos, I do a lot of unboxings of Japanese games though. So here's the uh, here's the music lyric sheet. Uh, here's also the physical soundtrack on the inside though. So very happy with that. Now on, now here's the art book around here. Now this is a bit of a, I wish it was a hard cover, but I'm okay with it though, since you get, since it, it's a really decent art art book though but i finally got it though so there's a and here's everything when i want to see it, which i'm not going to show off too much though so and here's on to the big best part about it is the it's the igus statue around here so this is actually a very limited copies though i want to open this very carefully It's pretty small, but I'm okay with it though, since you get a lot of extra stuff though. So, yeah, hold on. I want to be very careful with Igus here, since she is the android. I might get the Figma persona uh, very soon though. You know, despite how small it is, it's a pretty decent scale for a character like, like Igus though, since she's a very, since she's actually a, a cyborg though quite a bit though so you know i'm trying not to break this so here's what it looks like right here now first of all whenever you try to do that whenever you try to display this be very careful this figure though since this one this one will not be sold separately, or it might be, I don't know though. So here's what it looks like. Even though how small it is, it's very well detailed though, for the most part. It's like you're, it's like a size of an action figure, but I'm, I'm perfectly okay with it though. Since I finally got what I wanted though, I'm, t I'm perfectly fine with it either way though. So yeah, uh, you know, this is actually like a very... This is a very standard collector's edition, just like in the other past collector's edition. But you know, even though there's no steel book, though, I, I'm not gonna complain about it because I bought a lot of collector's edition that doesn't have a steel book at that time. Like I mentioned, all the Japanese import, they're not a lot of it since I'll give it a pass though, since they have different content though. So yeah, uh, what do you guys think though? Uh, let me know in the comments below, like, fair, share, subscribe, uh, hit the notification bell, comment below any questions though. So. I know this is a bit of a this is a bit of a mishmash some unboxing and some updates though so i'm i am excited for playing this game pretty soon i don't want to wait for too long though and i want to see how this shit works though so yeah uh thank you all for watching i'll see you guys this weekend if i ever do any more pickups though and until next time peace the fuck out